But first, Sydney's battle-weary commuters are feeling even more frustrated and angry than usual tonight, and that's saying something. They've been sidelined as the state and federal governments trade barbs over how to pay for the mega-expensive North West Rail Link. We'll get to Josh Murphy for the political brawl in just a moment. But we're going to begin with Jessica Turner, who's on the evening commute tonight. And Jess, they're not happy. That's for sure, Bill, and you can understand why Sydney bus uh, passengers are so frustrated having to deal with such a mess every morning for hours. Balcombe Hills residents start queuing from 7am to make the hour and a half bus ride into the city. Cathy Pearce just started a new job in town. So I thought it was a bit easier if I started to work in the city. She's having second thoughts. Oh, well, it's awful at the moment um, because I'm, I start work at 9.30 but I'm catching an 8 o'clock bus. That's not going to change anytime soon. It's ridiculous, I think. Oh, I think that's very bad for the Hills District and especially like it's with so many people living here. The mayor says they deserve better. I think they feel abandoned. He says the bus service can't cope and the rail link should be a priority. All the federal government is about is, is taxing. They're not about investing and that's very disappointing. Uh, for the people of northwestern and western Sydney. Some are forced to find alternatives. The bullet bus picks residents up from Kellyville and takes them into the city in an hour. A ticket is about $8. Passengers are prepared to pay an extra $4 a day because they're guaranteed a seat. It's also a more comfortable ride. I had a guy that uh, was absolutely dead to the world. I had to uh, give him a shake to wake him up. Cathy Pearce might have to consider her options. What do you think about doing this every day? I don't know, we'll see how it goes. And the bullet bus operators are actually considering putting on extra services to cope with the massive demand in the West. Thank you, Jessica Turner there above the M2. Now to Josh Murphy at State Parliament. Josh, this story started as an attack on Canberra, but that's not how it ended today. Well, Bill, firstly, it was the O'Farrell government on the attack over Canberra snubbing transport in Western Sydney. But there are fresh questions about whether the eight and a half billion dollar price tag of the North West Rail Link is value for money. Infrastructure Australia has outlined what it believes are gaping holes in the project and has even gone as far as saying it could all end in controversy, just like the Cross City Tunnel. <laughs> He's watched holes being dug, even sat on the odd snail to sell his key election promise. But the Premier's North West Rail Link has been dealt a scathing assessment by Infrastructure Australia. There's insufficient detail to provide a proper cost-benefit analysis. That is, will we, we as taxpayers get value for money? A preliminary assessment has labelled the long-promised line too expensive. It's identified rail congestion problems on the North Shore and claims there's no detail on how many passengers will use the line. First round, you'd think for seeking $8.5 billion, you might have done a bit more homework. Infrastructure Australia has even gone as far as comparing the link's potential failure to other infamous botched projects in Sydney. We don't want another uh, cross-city tunnel uh, debacle. We don't want the sorts of problems that the Sydney Metro had. Then came the counter-attack from state government. Our submission is detailed. It's backed up by experts. The O'Farrell camp rejects all the advice and it's accused federal Labor of political interference. When you have a federal government that's got its head so buried somewhere that it tells people in Sydney's northwest to get on a bus. Now, the Premier has said that he is willing to go it alone on this with or without federal money. He's determined, despite this latest advice, to have the tunnel boring machines for the rail link in the ground by 2014. Bill? Thank you. Josh Murphy at State Parliament.